Our next guest was a season 19 finalist on Hell's Kitchen and is one of our favorite cosplayers. And that's her dish right there you see on the screen. Looks amazing. Yes, yeah, Chef Mary Lou Davis joins us with a summer salad recipe anyone can learn to make at home. So that means me. Anyone. <laughs> exactly. Anybody can do it. A novice, a professional. It's so easy. Welcome, Mary Lou. Thank you so much. Okay, so. I've been in California this whole time and I finally come back and what I'm noticing, uh, first of all, is that this heat trying to knock me out. <laughs> all of us. So yes. I wanted to make something that doesn't require any work and that's really refreshing. So you're gonna start with the watermelon, mm -hmm. you're gonna cut it up and mm -hmm. you're gonna add in some of this true citrus lemon and lime and a little bit of salt. Okay. And that's gonna help really draw out the... Hydrated lime, yes. right? Yes, dehydrated mm. lime, dehydrated lemon and citric acid. So you're completely Ooh. in control. About five to 10 minutes and then it's gonna draw all the moisture out like this. Okay, oh I see. Wait, and that moisture here. helps with your dressing. Oops, sorry, Fiona. So, so you're yeah, gonna you're scoop some of that in there, and then for this watermelon salad, you're gonna put in pretty much whatever your heart's contents. My favorite is cilantro, red pepper, goat cheese, and then also jalapenos. But what makes this special, because you guys have seen watermelon salads everywhere, what makes this different is that this is gonna have a goat cheese ice cream, and what? the goat cheese ice cream is going to be your dressing for it. Okay, the dressing and is goat, goat cheese, cheese ice cream surprisingly easy to make. Goat cheese ice cream, this ice cream that I made is really easy. It's five ingredients. You don't need a stove. You don't need an ice cream maker. All you're gonna do is get heavy cream. You're gonna whip it, and then you're gonna fold it in your other ingredients, which are going to be a little bit of salt, vanilla extract, a whole can of condensed milk, and goat cheese. That's it. Let it sit overnight, and then you're gonna get this right Look here. Look at this. So what? good. I put a little lime zest in mine just to make it and otherwise, it's perfect, it's delicious, it's sweet, it's savory. Hey, Fiona, you have a little I'm salty. I'm going to hand you that if Thank you'd you. like to try the goat cheese I'm ice cream. I'm on it because I want to try it with the watermelon. And then we top, we add a little bit more uh, garnish on top, mm -hmm. maybe, yeah. Mm. That combo it. is so good. And it's so easy. That's the whole thing. Everyone thinks cooking can be so complicated, but I like my approach is go. more inviting and less intimidating. Okay. Anyone can do this. Anyone mm. can do it, okay? and. What are your future plans? My future plans right now, I'm visiting because it is my birthday, so I wanted to come and see my family. Yay, happy birthday! Happy birthday. So much. But I will be back in October, and I'm gonna be partnering with Suck It Asian Kitchen Restaurant, and we're gonna be doing a pop-up. So okay. be prepared How for that, fun. I'm really excited. I know you miss San Antonio when you're not here, right? I so miss it so, so it's nice that you always come back and do you plan to keep partnering up with other restaurants? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Any other restaurants that want to work with me, if you don't reach out, just know that I probably am. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you host your own cooking show? I would I love to host my own cooking show. That's going to be, uh, it's in the works in my head, so I'm going to manifest it and bring it to reality because I think I'm a great host. I see you are can too. Can you us? Can we go? Oh, we oh my gosh, I would love you guys on my show. I mean, we could be the taste, taste testers right there. <laughs> Please. Please, just saying. I have a segment just for you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds perfect. So how'd you like it, Fiona, oh, the goat so, cheese? So, so good with that goat cheese. Um, do you keep in touch with anyone from Hell's Kitchen? I actually keep in touch with um, about three of the girls. I keep in touch with Jordan. She was the girl with the ponytail. Uh -huh. Nikki was the tall, skinny one. And actually, Corey just sent me a message today and said, happy birthday. So, you know what? what? Talk to her, too. How cool. Oh, Again, boy, what was memory. that experience like? Being on Hell's Kitchen was exciting and terrifying at the same time, but it helped me grow into the person that I never thought that that I could be, but the person that my mom always saw. Aww. And so I look back on it and I'm like, man, I was so small and I was, I just wasn't confident at all. And I'm just like, look at me now. Yes. They pushed you, they pushed you, right? They like did. challenge you and you, wow. you either turn into a diamond or you crumble. Right. And I was like, I'm a gemstone, baby. Wow, I love it, Mary Lou. Always oh, yeah. a pleasure to have you and happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. You. We won't sing. If Mike was here, he would sing. <laughs> okay, for more information on Chef Mary Lou Davis, head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we provided the link or just scan the QR code on your screen. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.